एवरीवन आई एम असीमा विश्वाल इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इक्वी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी इफ ए कंज्यूमर हैज ए गिवन मनी इनकम एंड देयर आर सपोज टू गुड्स एक्स एंड वाई देन द कंज्यूमर इज इन इक्विलिब्रियम एम यू एच डिवाइडेड बाय पी एक्स इक्वल टू एम यू वाई डिवाइडेड बाय पी वाई एम यू एक्स इज दी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ऑफ एक्स पी एक्स इज दी प्राइस ऑफ एक्स एम यू वाई इज दी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ऑफ वाई एंड पी वाई इज दी प्राइस ऑफ वाई इन दिस क्लास आई विल डिस्कस इट विद दी हेल्प ऑफ ए एरिथमेटिक टेबल एंड ए डायग्राम ओके सपोज ए कंज्यूमर हैज 24 रुपीस ओके सपोज ए कंज्यूमर हैज 24 रुपीस प्राइस ऑफ गुड एक्स इज रुपीस 2 एंड प्राइस ऑफ गुड वाई इक्वल टू रुपीस 3 सी दिस टेबल मार्जिनल यूटिलिटीज ऑफ गुड एक्स एंड वाई सपोज दिस रोस होस्टी यूनिट्स दिस रोस होस्टी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ऑफ एक्स एंड दिस रोस होस्टी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ऑफ वाई ओके ए कंज्यूमर व्हेन कंज्यूम्स वन यूनिट ऑफ एक्स ही विल गेट मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ट्वेंटी he consumes one unit of y he gets marginal utility 24 suppose a consumer consumes two unit of x then marginal utility of x decreases 20 to 18 and marginal utility of y decreases 24 to 21 Suppose a consumer consumes three unit of X, then M U X is sixteen and M U Y is eighteen. When a consumer further increases his consumption, then in four units of X. The marginal utility is 14, and marginal utility of is 15. In five units of X, marginal utility is 12, and marginal utility of Y is also 12. When he consumes six units of X, he gets satisfaction 10 utility. In case of X. In case of Y, it is nine. Okay, let the price of goods. I have already told rupees two in good X and rupees three in case of good Y. Okay, and a consumer has rupees twenty four. It is shown in this table that this. This is the marginal utility of expenditure. This is sold units, and this sold M U X divided by P X, and this sold the M U Y divided by P Y. In case of one unit of X, marginal utility of X divided by P X is ten. In case of two, M U X divided by P X. Is nine. In case of three units of x, m u x divided by p x is eight. Okay. In case of four units of x, m u x divided by p x is seven. In case of five units of x, m u x divided by p x is six. In case of six unit of x. M U X divided by P X is five. In case of M U Y divided by P Y, okay. In case of one unit of Y, eight. In case of two unit of Y, is seven. In case of three unit of Y, 
is six in case of four unit of y. Okay, five in case of five unit of y is six. In case of six unit of y is three. This rows the mux divided by px. That means in first unit twenty, then rupees two. Price of good x two. So this ten and and this shows the in case of first unit muy twenty four and price of y is three. So twenty four divided by three is eight. So this row shows the muh divided by px and this row shows the mu. Y divided by P Y. Okay, then so this table in case of M U X divided by P X is equal to high utility when the consumer purchases six unit of six unit of X. Okay, and the consumer when consuming four units of Y, he gets five utility. So, if the consumer consumes six units of X and four units of Y, then the consumer is in equilibrium. So, M U X divided by P X equal to M U Y divided by P Y. So this shows the ten. Ten by two equal to fifteen by three equal to five. Okay. Thus five is the marginal utility of large rupees spent on each of the two goods he purchases is the same. That is five. Consumer equilibrium is graphically shown. This see this diagram. O x axis represents the quantity of x, and this O y axis represents M U x divided by price of x. If the consumer consumes one unit of x, then M U x divided by P x is ten. In case of two units of x, M U X divided by P X is nine. In case of three units of x, M U X divided by P X is eight. In four units of x, M U X divided by P X is seven. In five units of x, M U X divided by P X is six. In six units of x. M U X divided by P X is five. Okay, see this axis O X axis represents quantity of Y, and this O Y axis represents M U Y divided by P Y. In case of one unit of Y, M U Y divided by P Y eight. In case of two units of Y. Is seven in three units of y six four five five four and six three. Okay, this for shows the M U X divided by P X and this is shows the M U Y divided by P Y. If the consumer consumes six units of X, he gets five. Utility, okay. If he consumes four, he gets five, and the consumer is in equilibrium. If the consumer consumes five units of X, then the consumer will lose this area A, B, C, H. Okay, A, B, C, H. This is the loss area of total utility. If the 
consumer consumes high units of y then you will get k e e n and this a b c s loss is greater than e k e k l e e k l e okay so if the consumer substitute x for y then the consumer will be in equilibrium m u x divided by p x equal to m u y divided by p y root is 2 into 6 plus root is 3 into 4 root is 2 is root of x and 6 is the 6 units of x root is 3 is the price of root y into 4 So equal to twenty four. Okay. Ten by two. Ten by two equal to fifteen by three equal to five. So the consumer will be in equilibrium if he consumes six units of X and four units of Y. So this is the. all about the principle of equi marginal utility thanks for watching